Ladies and gentlemen, we are in 2025 right now. And my belief is that we are entering into a new era when it comes to technology. At the end of 2022, we had this remarkable innovation around ChatGPT, came out, took the world by storm. And over the last couple years, there's been some incredible AI breakthroughs. But let's review 2023 and 2024 for a bit. You know, we've had some incredible innovations. We had the, we had the Pope Balenciaga stuff. We had some AI deep fakes, songs, images. We had the breakthrough of O1 from OpenAI and hopefully O3 that's coming out this year. And for a fact, I think every single student on the planet cheated on their essays using ChatGPT, at least. But you know, these last two years, 2023 and 2024, I would term as the generative AI era. But now this era is over and now we are entering into a brand new era starting in 2025, which many will call the agentic revolution. And this will unlock extraordinary value. It will be 10 to 1000 X what the generative AI boom gave because this, this era is actually about value. And you know, everyone is talking about this. Every CEO is talking about agents. In fact, the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, was at the CES keynote a couple days ago, and he mentioned in his keynote, agents 22 times. Actually, let me, let me show you. Agents, 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 agents. What I realized, by the way, is that if you mention agents 22 times, you can get whatever you want in life. I mentioned agent 22 times. That's how I ended up here in Athens. Uh, but. By the way, I'm gonna be starting a new drinking game. A new drinking game. I saw that Amdocs, by the way, gave these amazing pouches. It, well, at least it was in my hotel room. I don't know about you. Uh, and, they, and in the bag, in the bag, they gave two things. A shot glass and Uzo, right? Uzu, right? Is it called Uzu? Yeah, Uzo. Uzo, Uzo, my apologies. This is, the, this is the drink of choice in Greece, right? So this is my new drinking game, okay? When you hear someone say agent, you have to take a shot. When you hear someone say agentic, then they're drunk. No, I, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna hear a lot more about agents and agentic over this next year. And what's remarkable is that, you know, the internet, we called it the World Wide Web. What it did is it democratized knowledge. But what AI, and the agentic revolution is gonna do, it's gonna actually democratize work. It's gonna democratize action. For the first time in human history, software will autonomously make decisions for us. This has never happened, and it's gonna be remarkable. We already know that every single platform is talking about how they're gonna be rolling out agents, Microsoft, you know, Salesforce, Google, Anthropic, and my belief is that in 2025, your next hire, will be smarter than you, and by the way, it will never sleep. And it will be an agent, internally or externally. I believe agents will be the new conversational layer for organizations. If you think about over the last number of decades around technology, you know, when the internet came out, companies said, you know what, we should probably get a website in the 90s. And then when the social media came out, you know, in the 2000s, companies said, you know, we should probably get a Facebook page. And then in the 2010s, more and more companies thought they should get an app. And then really over the last 15 years, there hasn't been a conversational layer that we've really adopted. But I think agents is gonna be the next one. My belief is that every single company will end up having an agent. In fact, there'll be more agents within companies than actually people. And so if every company is coming out with their agent, how do we differentiate ourselves? And this is why I love the rallying call around make it amazing. Because my belief is that to truly differentiate yourself in this era of agents, you can't just have an agent. You have to be amazing. You have to be remarkable. As an example of this and how easy it is to make agents, I've been building agents for the last number of months. And um, I actually built an agent for you. 
I called it the Amdocs Genius Intern Agent. I built it in a site called Lindy. And what it does is it takes a client inquiry, it updates your CRM automatically, it looks at the knowledge base and drafts an email response for your client. So let me show you this in action. This is, an AI, this is a real AI agent that I built. So I did it in Lindy. So this is the actual workflow that I created in Lindy. It's called the Amdocs Genius Intern. And I'll show you the email that is gonna be coming in. So this is from the CIO of TELUS. They're looking to move their call center ops to AWS. They're asking to see you know, how you can facilitate the transition. By the way, I also populated the knowledge base of this agent using some source documents. And uh, these were some of the source documents that, that I used from the website just to, to create some sort of repository. And so let's watch this agent in action. And so first the email comes in, you can see on the, on the bottom here, it starts to create a contact in the CRM, then it checks its knowledge base, and then it starts thinking, and it uh, develops a email response right there and then. You can, and you can see the CRM that's updated from TELUS, and this is the actual draft email that was sent. Now, I wouldn't trust it to send the email yet. I know many of my entrepreneur and founder friends do this, but this is already done. I mean, it's not sexy, but it's going to, it's going to eliminate a lot of repetitive and manual tasks. But I also created my own external AI agent for you and I use my likeness and my face, and I'm gonna show you an interactive avatar of me using this agent. Hey, uh, AI agent, listen, I'm a telco. I wanna know a little bit more about what you do as an agent. Um, hey, absolutely. I'm an amazed agent from Amdocs that can help you with that. Through applying their unique telco skills to automate workflows across multiple CSP operations, my Gen AI agent counterparts are kind of like catalysts of change within the telecom landscape, paving the way for a new era of innovation and efficiency. Um, can I tell you more about what we can do, or can I show you a demo? Actually, can you just say that in Japanese? That would be great. Oh, sure. I can repeat in Japanese. By the way, I showed my Amdocs AI agent to my wife. She's like, you're a lot sexier in Japanese. Uh, but, uh... Thank you so much. I would love to get some questions from the Mentimeter as well. I think we have a little bit of time. Love to get some questions. Wow, first question. What should your children study? Um, it's a great question. I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out in 2025 how to be a great parent as well. What I care about when it comes to my kids is how do they build grit, resilience, being able to make a friend, having deep relationships with others, learn how to fail, those things to me are the most important traits for my kids in the future. Like actually how to be a good human has nothing to do with technology. And that's what I'm hopefully teaching my kids. So I appreciate that question. All right, how do you prolifer proliferate AI in a 30K organization without creating chaos? Um, number one, you have to create a little bit of chaos. Nothing gets done. There's not, nothing innovative has ever been done without a little bit of chaos. Um, my belief is don't mandate it. Don't make it a top-down initiative. Make it fun. Create play. Create a challenge on Fridays. Hey, what's a mi great mid-journey image that you guys can create? You know, I know we have an incredible pa partnership with Microsoft and NVIDIA. How can we create these challenges so that we can make it fun for people to, to play and experiment? This is why I believe play is the greatest way of creating transformation. It's because it's, it's low stakes. So I think one of the greatest ways of proliferating AI within the organization is don't mandate it. Make it fun and make it part of their day-to-day -day activities and you will start to make this uh, more uh, part of the DNA of the organization. Let's keep going. As an innovation strategist, middle seat dude, yes, okay. What's your most surprising prediction 
for the next 10 years. Wow, love this. What's your most surprising prediction for the next 10 years? Um, I believe that the next set of entrepreneurs will be creators, will be people that are developing content uh, and brand through, through those means. Because in a world that's proliferated by AI, authenticity, um, being real, being transparent with your customers and your clients will be incredibly powerful. We, at the end of the day, want to connect with human beings. And this is why I believe that th that set of entrepreneurs that we laughed at for the last 10 years, they're gonna be the next big founders and entrepreneurs. Because in a world where technology is becoming increasingly more commoditized, um, what's becoming more important is attention, dis distribution, um, trust. And who holds the trust at the, the, at the end of the day? Well, it's people who've built a connection with their audience and their customers. So I, that's my bold prediction over the next 10 years.